Kia EED was equipped with three petrol engines of 1.4L, 109 horsepower, 1.6L, 122 horsepower, and 2.0L, 143 horsepower, as well as a pair of turbo diesels 1.6L, 115 horsepower, and 2.0L, 140 horsepower. Officially, only gasoline modifications were sold in Russia. Engines with a volume of 1.4 and 1.6 liters of the Gamma series are the most massive. They are close in design, but, unfortunately, they cannot boast of an acceptable resource. By 150,000 kilometers, repairs are required with the replacement of piston rings and a set of connecting rod and main bearings, 4,000 rubles. Officials will take another 15,000 rubles for work. Engines are also sensitive to fuel and oil quality. From bad gasoline, you will periodically have to change spark plugs and ignition coils, oxygen sensors, 3,990 rubles, and mass air flow, 4,800 rubles. And by 100,000 kilometers, the neutralizer may also die, 35,000 rubles. Therefore, it is recommended every 30 to 40,000 kilometers to clean the injection system, 2,000 rubles, and at the same time, the throttle assembly. Under the hood, 75% of all used seeds will have a 1.6 liter gamma engine with an aluminum block and cylinder head, as well as a CBVT variable valve timing mechanism. He needs to monitor the condition of the timing chain and the oil level. By 100,000 kilometers, the chain is stretched, the crankshaft rear oil seal is leaking and the valve cover is sweating. Over time, the fuel tank filler cap valve, 26,500 rubles, sticks, creating a strong vacuum in it. He might just burst. The motors are equipped with the chain and the drive of the gas distribution mechanism, which stretches to 100,000 kilometers. With the replacement of the chain, it is better not to pull. Otherwise, it can jump a couple of teeth, and then the valves will meet the pistons. Repair will result in 50,000 rubles. Instead of conventional gaskets, engines use a sealant that dries out after four to five years. However, in addition to leaks from under the valve cover or front timing cover, oil can also leak through the crankshaft rear oil seal. And by 150,000 kilometers it breaks through the cylinder head gasket, 2,300 rubles. Against this backdrop, the good old 2.0L beta engine with the cast iron block seems to be a model of durability. Its resource is 250 to 350,000 kilometers. True, you will have to update the timing belt every 60,000 kilometers from 2,500 rubles and monitor the coolant temperature sensor due to a malfunction of which the engine can warm up in traffic jams. Transmission. Not everything is smooth with gearboxes. Contrary to tradition, the manual gearbox has problems. By 130,000 kilometers, the gear rims of the gear, the synchronizer clutch and the third gear blocking ring wear out. So, if the box began to crackle and rest when shifting gears, this usually happens at 110 to 140,000 kilometers, prepare about 15,000 rubles. For repairs, it's good if the clutch lasts until this time, after all, it makes no sense to pay for the same work twice. The assembly is usually replaced complete with a basket, 2,000 rubles, a clutch-driven disc, 1,900 rubles, and a release bearing, 650 rubles. The work will cost another 3,000 rubles, a rare case when an automatic transmission is preferable to the mechanics. And that's exactly what happened to the Kia C. The weak point of manual transmissions is the gears, the synchronizer clutch and the third gear retaining ring. Some of our culebins fill in thicker mineral oil and change it more often. But this only delays the repair, 15,000 rubles. Periodically, it is necessary to monitor the condition of the anthers of the CB joints. As a rule, by 50,000 kilometers they begin to poison the lubricant. It's better not to save on rubber covers, 900 rubles each, otherwise you will have to part with 16,500 rubles, which you will be asked for for the axle shaft assembly with external and internal hinges. Strange, but an interchangeable and similar unit from the Hyundai Elantra costs almost half as much. The A4 CF1 automatic transmission traces its lineage to a similar Mitsubishi F4A41 unit. If every 60 to 80,000 kilometers the transmission oil is updated, the box will run 250,000 kilometers before the overhaul. True, on the, the machines of the first years of production there were problems with the output shaft. The rear seats are divided in proportion 40-20-40. They fold down to form an absolutely flat surface with the trunk floor. Chassis and body. 
In the fully independent suspension of the Kia seat, shock absorbers were considered a weak link, both front, 3,500 rubles each, and rear, 4,200 rubles each, which sometimes began to knock at 20,000 kilometers. At first they were changed along with the front stabilizer struts, 350 rubles each. But after 2009, the shock absorbers were modernized, significantly increasing their resource. Hub bearings are not very durable either, front, 700 rubles each, and rear, 3,000 rubles each complete with the hub, withstand an average of 50,000 kilometers. In the front suspension with McPherson struts, shock absorbers, ball joints and silent blocks of levers will have to be changed by 70 to 80,000 kilometers. On a circle it turns out from 12,800 rubles. Body metal does not give up corrosion for a long time, but the paintwork is delicate, like most Koreans, chips and scratches appear easily, and the varnish falls off in pieces from plastic parts. The lower edges of the doors and the support cups of the suspension springs on the first cars quickly succumb to rust. On station wagons, after a couple of years, railings begin to corrode. And on all modifications, at the age of four or five years, the paint swells under the lining of the trunk lid. In the rear multi-link, the springs quickly sag, 1,400 rubles each. And shock absorbers, 4,200 rubles each on early copies sometimes began to knock at 20 to 30,000 kilometers. But silent blocks of levers can withstand about 90,000 kilometers. Modifications. Outwardly, the stylish three-door proceed hatchback is perceived as more compact and more dynamic than the five-door. Although in reality it is slightly longer and lower. Moreover, both modifications do not have a single common body element. Fenders, doors, headlights, and taillights, as well as the design of the fifth door, are different for hatchbacks. But with the range of engines, the situation is different. The three-door was equipped with a full line of gasoline engines with a volume of 1.4 liters, 109 horsepower, 1.6 liters, 122 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 143 horsepower, which were combined with both a manual transmission and an automatic one. The practical and harmonious seat SW station wagon was in surprisingly high demand in our market. It now accounts for about a quarter of all used first-generation Kia Seed presented in our country. But usually in Russia, cars with this type of body are sold neither shaky nor rolls. The station wagon is expectedly larger than hatchbacks, 220 to 240 millimeters longer and 40 to 73 millimeters higher. But thanks to the successful design, for example, the negative angle of the rear pillars, Seed SW looks no less stylish and proportionate than hatchbacks. In general, the language does not dare to call it a barn. And in technical terms, according to the engines and gearboxes used, all three modifications are identical. Restyling. In 2009, Kia EED underwent restyling, as a result of which it began to look fresher and more respectable thanks to a modified chrome-plated radiator grille, a memorable cut of headlights and fashionable dot segments of brake lights. Significantly updated car and inside. Interior designers redrawn the center console and did not disregard the instrument panel. The ceiling handles were equipped with a micro-lift, and all power windows were equipped with an automatic open-and-closing function. There are also technical changes. The base 1.4-liter gasoline engine began to produce 90 horsepower, instead of the previous 109, and the 1.6-liter added up to 126 horsepower. The 1.6-liter turbo diesel, 115 horsepower, has got two more versions, 90 and 128 horsepower. 